Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk. Let's make a better life. This is Judy Feilanden, a published writer who writes fiction and non-fiction, a fan of Jack London, a dog lover, and a yoga lover. How are you doing today, my dear friend? I hope you are having a happy day. Having a happy day is easy, but Staying happy every single day is very difficult because life is a bottle full of colorful tastes: bitterness, sourness, pungency, and sweetness. And most of the time, we experience the feelings of bitterness, sourness, and pungency. We experience the things that we don't want to experience, but. We must face every day with a good vibe. We must try our best to be happy and stay happy, because being happy is the most important thing in our lives. Yes, from time to time we meet different challenges. We face various difficulties. We go through hard and sad times, but. When we confront those negative things or people, we can still be happy, because being happy is so very important. Being happy, our lives will be more colorful. Being happy, our work will be done better. Being happy, our loved ones will be happier. So, how to be happy when we meet difficulties? Setbacks, obstacles, challenges, or negative people who say negative words to us. How to be happy when we lose someone or something? How to be happy when we are ill? After all, we are human beings. We have feelings. We have every right to be sad, to be angry, even to be frustrated. So we need to do something. We need to make ourselves happy. Here are the things I always do when those times appear in my life. If I face challenges, setbacks, obstacles, or failures, I would cry for a while, and then I would look at me in the mirror, telling myself, "You are still alive, yes." Then get yourself up, face it bravely, be happy. Your loved ones don't want you to be unhappy. And if I lose someone, like I lost my little dog Candy a few years ago, I would cry silently, and then I would tell myself that she will meet me in heaven when I die, and she doesn't want me to be sad. So I always try to be happy after crying. You can do the same when you face those times, my friend. And as you know, I am a published writer who writes fiction and non-fiction novels and short stories. You are very welcome to visit my website, JudyFeiLendon.com or Amazon to read my poems and my short stories. The last one, Mr. Right, Candy the Dog, etc. And my latest non-fiction book, Living with the Walking Dead, a roadmap for achieving your own success. I hope to see you there, and I thank you so much for your kind support. And my friends, please remember that life is always full of bad, sad things. If we always let ourselves get stuck in those things, in those negative feelings. We will live in misery. So no matter what, try to be happy. We can be happy. You can be happy. Yes, you can. Well, my wonderful friends, thank you for listening, subscribing, sharing, liking, and commenting. This has been Judy Fei London. I wish you nothing but success and happiness. Let's talk. Next time. Until then.